All right, everybody, thank you for joining me for my Dungeons & Dragons Honor Amongst Thieves reaction. All right, just want to let you know up front, I'm so stoked for this. Look, lifelong Dungeons & Dragons player, RPG player in general. I've been playing role-playing games for going on 30 years. Now, date myself, but you know, either way, just saying. Whoa, what's in the cage? What is it? Okay. Is that their orcs? Wow, see, yeah, this is how you do D&D. Look at this kind of stuff. All this magical stuff, these structures that have been built either by, like, I don't know, dwarves or friggin' magic. Let's show you around. Get you the this is the bucket where our pee freezes. Yeah, yeah that's it. What's your name, lass? Uh, that's Holga. <laughs> I'm Edgin. In a shade room with a female. Holga doesn't love to be disturbed while she's eating her potatoes. Kind of the... <laughs> 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 Tell you, Olga, this is your last day chopper, guys. This Woo! absolution council will now come to order. Look at it. Look at it, draconian over there. Task of this council to determine your eligibility for power. Yeah, I, I noticed that Chancellor Jonathan is not. I was going to say, I want to see the air corps, like the big bird man, right? Jonathan was delayed by the storm. We're really counting on him to attend. And as always, if you want to watch along with me for the entire length of the film, that'll be available on my Patreon page called The Raw Cut. However, you will need your own copy of Dungeons & Dragons in order to sync up with the timestamp to watch along with me, but it'll be awesome. You may be surprised to learn I wasn't always a thief. Network of spies who swear an oath to fight tyranny, defend the oppressed, and to ask nothing in return. He's a bird. By day, I'd eavesdrop on mercenaries. I like it. And even bring Fae and Red Wizards to justice. Ooh. There were times when I began to question the asking nothing in return part of my oath. Oh. So what's latest on Jonathan? Is he close by? <laughs> and sometimes those enemies come looking for revenge. Oh, oh. oh he, the red mages are coming back in. They're going to freaking burn the village, aren't they? So as a harper, eh? You take the pledge to do... Oh, no. What did they freaking do to her? We didn't get to get very attached to her, but, you know hid the baby in the secret compartment. I guess he's a single father now. No cleric can repair the damage from a red wizard's blade. I was gonna say, yeah. In a world with resurrection spells. He didn't have the money anyways. Costs a lot to resurrect, right? And he already showed that he was poor. Hard to relive this without Jonathan here. Again with this? <laughs> but he missed the most important part of my life story. Yeah? Get on with it. Fine. Where was I? Uh, I come home to my loving wife and daughter, Kira. You went back too far. Stop yeah. stalling. Right. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Among my most shameful. Really? You brought, you brought the infant to That's attack? That's when I met Holga. Holga was a fellow resident of Rock Bottom. <laughs> Many we quickly became like brother and sister. Okay. With a relationship built on trust and mutual respect. <laughs> oh, yeah. Real... Mutual respect there. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's becoming a thief. I like how it's going to be, I'm assuming, a band of thieves. Right? Traditional D&D. &D, the only way you level up is by getting treasure. So, like, they're gone back to the roots of D&D &D here. I like it. A con man named Forge who pushed us to aim even higher. Sophina. You gotta have the creepy cloaked figure by the fireplace, her, right? She wanted our help. The keep was filled with a priceless relic seized from evildoers and only harpers could gain access to the vault. Which is but then Forge told me that among the relics in Korn's keep there was a tablet of reawakening. Even one killed by a red wizard's blade. Really? Even if the body was burned? Th then you shouldn't go. We have everything that we need. But this is the, the last one. Yeah, they always say that. I didn't tell her about the tablet. It would break her heart if it all went to shit. And uh, Yeah, true. He did it for love and to resurrect his dead wife, right? Got good intentions. Oh, they made that look like a D&D &D map. Eh? A top-down view. I like it. You sprung a trap. <laughs> What's a D&D &D without a good trap, right? Chain lightning. I like it. What is that, the slow spell? She's caught in the time stop! Come on, what? You're gonna leave her behind? You can't do that, come on! After she helped you raise your child, you're gonna leave her behind. Kira, safe. Oh. You have my word. I implore you to please 
wait for. There he is! I can't believe they made one. Oh my god! Oh, they needed him for the escape plan. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of using CG, they got the actual makeup effects and everything. I like it. Tired of so many movies being CG. This is way better, don't you think? Comment below. Let me know what you think. Come on. He's still breathing. <laughs> I told you you to <laughs> Yeah, against his will, though. This movie's gonna be great. I can already tell you right now. I'm gonna love it. The, the fact that we're seeing a live-action D and D. Comment below. Let me know if you're a role player, tabletop role player. If you played D and D. And for how many years and that kind of stuff, I'd love to hear from you. Son of a bitch. Forge is Lord Neverwinter. Really? Well, as long as he's got Kira, I don't care. Come on. Well, you know where to find him now. So is she like a fighter or a barbarian? She's kind of dressed like a barbarian, but we'll see. He's definitely a bard. All right, a lot of travel. They didn't show us any random encounters or anything, but it's okay. Dad. <gasps> oh, God. Kira. Reunited. Oh. Ram I missed you so much. Wow. I, was she not like her dad or what? I thought about you every day. I want you to know I am so sorry. Why do you look mad at me? Because hmm. you're acting like it wasn't your fault. Wonderful surprise. You had good intentions. An no. early release? Good behavior. Yeah, baby. Mm. How are you the Lord of Neverwinter? <laughs> Seize the chance to try and, you know, make a difference. And the money from Corinth's Keep paved the way for my campaign. Yeah, she is. Oh. You remember Sophia? Sophia. You're still working with her? She's the one that got us caught. Mm-hmm. She cast that spell, which did snag him, right? Give us the tablet. Kira Hogan and I will be on our way. Of course, that's why you came back. It's a tablet of reawakening. The reason why I agreed to the, to the heist, is that, is that what he's told you? That I left you for more riches? Oh, what a jerk. I wanted to bring your mother back. Oh, Ed, come on. Look, I, I know how much you crave her forgiveness, but... I... Come on. What a dick move. You have been lying since you set foot in the room, haven't you? Oh, look at that. You escaped? We were trying to get back to you, Buck. I was doing it for Mom, for all of us. You have to trust me. Kira, no, oh wait, wait, Kira! She's not gonna favor friggin' Forge over her. Come on. I don't think I will be returning it. Or your daughter, for that matter. What? Oh my god. What the is this? You'd have thought that you'd have learned that the last time she trapped you. You always wanted us to get caught. And no. you double crosses for this witch? Yeah, and I have truly come to love her as my own. Yeah, I'm sure you have. It was genuinely lovely to see you both. Yeah, come yeah! on. You... Oh. <laughs> is that her trying to rage to get out? Look at the secrets there. She's got... Sophia's got some kind of master plot. She's going to turn on Forge as well. You know it. She's just playing the long game here for power. Is that the work of Gelrin Fohammer? How's the weight? Does it parry? Very nice. Now put your heads down. Wait. What do you clean it with? <laughs> Boiled linseed oil. Okay, chop it off. Chop it off. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, clever. Oh, she uses a brick. This is D&D. &D. She's probably like a level 10 barbarian up against a bunch of regular town guard. <laughs> what kind of move was that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did his part. Before we leave the city. Yeah. Boiled linseed oil. Well, she got that axe she likes so much. And I want you to know that even if he isn't there for you, I always will. What a jerk, sly, manipulative. Castle never is tighter than Corrin's keep, and you know what happened with that. We're gonna need a team. He said the richest people were coming to bet on the High Sun Games. There'll be a fortune in that vault. Yeah, and Kira will know that. We abandoned her for the right reason. <laughs> Choice of words. Simon's a terrible sorcerer. I haven't seen him in two years. I'm sure he's gotten better. He can only do cantrips or How what? How about this one? You people like the smell of fresh cut grass? Fresh cut grass? A little throwback to uh, Critical Role? I really like this. You know, you oh, he's just Slightly blurry. 
Is that? Oh no! You broke his concentration. He's nicking our bits and bobs. <laughs> He's nicking our bits and bobs. <laughs> run away! Run away. Shield spell. There we go. Woo. That wasn't a shield spell. Nope. But hey, it worked. Oh, Sorry. wow. <laughs> that was well-timed. All right, they're putting together a team, everybody. What do you think? Simon, the level one sorcerer or something? A druid, maybe. A wild shape. They can get in and out and detect right. as uh, right. a deer. Yes, a deer. They'll blend in with all the other deer right. in the castle. I know a druid. She, however, found my lack of self-esteem unattractive. Embark on epic adventures and showcase your love for D&D with our new collection of captivating Dungeons & Dragons inspired t-shirts, now available on Etsy. Whether you're into eye-catching designs or simply want to rock a statement piece, we got you covered. Our graphic tees are more than just a piece of fabric, they're wearable works of art. They're a canvas for your personality. You'll find a design that speaks to you and lets you stand out in a crowd. Newfie Styles offers an extensive collection of graphic tees to make heads turn wherever you go. And speaking of standing out, our mugs are a perfect way to start your day. Sip your morning coffee or tea in style with our unique and vibrant designs. So if you want to elevate your presence with a touch of uniqueness while also supporting this channel to keep bringing you videos like this, then why not click the link in the description below. Head on over to Newfie Styles on Etsy and pick up some sweet merch. When you get there, be sure to follow the shop as I'll be adding new designs weekly. Remember, it's not just fashion, it's a statement of who you are. The Emerald Enclave will never relent! That's not dark. That's the druid there. <laughs> oh! That's the druid shape changing into an owl bear. The fact that we're gonna get to see an owl there. We've seen that in the trailer, right? A little glimpse of it. <laughs> oh. Oh, there she is. Is she a tiefling? I couldn't see. I, uh, was that ears or horns or what? Druid is the most broken class there is. So she's probably the most powerful one to team. Bit. Oh, there there you are, Wait. Simon. Who? How'd you? Simon, he said, I made you feel sad. Not from oh. anything I did, just who I was. Oh, right. Oh, oh, we need a deer. We don't need a deer. No. We're going to take down Forge Fitzwilliam. She wants to fight the power, too, does she? Okay. As you can imagine, I don't trust humans. I find right. you to be hateful and selfish. If it helps, I'm only half human. He's a the half only elf. way to succeed okay. in this is to have confidence that it can be done. But when it counts, this young man delivers. It's why I chose him. What is it exactly that you bring to this? Me? I'm a, I'm a planner. You've already made the plan, so what value do you have now? If uh, the plan fails, I make a new plan. So you right. make plans that fail? No. He also plays. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Really calling them out. Making them feel useless. None of the plans we've tried to take down Forge have worked. We began destroying our homes and executing our people. We're doing this for the people who took me in when no one else would. So we'll keep your share then. <laughs> Come on now. Always been the disciple I rely on most. I'd rather be flensed and flayed than spend another hour with Forge Fitzwilliam. Take solace in knowing that your work here is nearly complete. Oh my god, evil creeping in the shadows. We have taken every imaginable measure to protect the assets that you made. The fly. And then, is that the druid there? there is. It is protected by the arcane seal of Morden Canaan. Silence. A wild shape is among us. Ooh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Did she discover that with magic or with awesome perception? Right, you have one hit point. <laughs> Man, so many druids have been in this situation in roleplay games. It happens all the time. It's always, oh, the druid will sneak in and get all the intel. And then it goes horribly wrong and they have to try to escape. Okay, right, go, go, go. How many wall shapes you got? You got another one? There you go. No! <laughs> Don't mind me. Alright, she's good. Oh. Oh, now she's a deer. <laughs> we needed you to be a deer. She should have turned into something better than a deer. Come on now. Do you got her? Oh, go, 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 go. She did it. Oh. So she did become a deer. <laughs> <laughs> He's got my daughter in there with a red wizard. The 
vault is protected by something called Morty Cayman's Arcane Seal. If the vault has more than Cayman's Seal, we're not getting in. It's impenetrable. Can't you just open it with magic? How everyone thinks that you can solve any problem with magic. Or well, if we had the Helm of Disjunction, it's a helmet that disables all nearby enchantments, but it doesn't matter. The thing went missing ages ago. We can find that helmet. Even if we did, I couldn't use it without attuning to it. Which I... Can we just keep this between us? I don't know. Ooh. Blaming him, putting it on him. My tribe fought the cult of the dragon over it at the Evermores. We could just ask them where it went. Go. We're all dead. So, ask them with magic. <laughs> You can speak with the dead? You can bring back the dead? But I have this token that lets me ask corpses some questions and then they go back to being dead. Oh, what? Just pay it with magic. Pay it with magic? <laughs> magic solves everything. Kind of does in D&D, &D, though. Oh. No! Oh, look at the magical blade he got. Oh, and the robe switched to red. They keep showing that dragonfly. Ooh, what a beautiful community, they though. Painted the shutters. <laughs> Olga. Olga. Is that Bradley Cooper? Got my garden. I'm working on my book. You still have that walking stick I gave you. Yeah. In here. Uh oh, he moved on. Oh, there's a pack of barley rugs down in here. Oh, he likes. I know about you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he likes so the long big women. What's going on in here? Does she make you happy? Oh no. Happier than I did. And she doesn't make me weep. I was banished from my damn tribe to be with you. And I tried to build us a home so you could forget that. Oh, wow. What a good heart on him. You know, when you left, I lost my family. I've been fortunate enough to find another, and I wish nothing less than that for you. Wow, he truly means it. We're gonna oh, take she down took the walking stick. <laughs> I'm gonna show Marleman and the Elk tribe. They were fools to let me go. She needed that closure though, right? You know she did. Oh, here we go. Fortune found. Fate Making her smile. Well, this is why you need a bard in the party, right, everybody? Makes traveling better, boosts morale, give you inspiration to keep going, right? You know it. Okay, really? Simon Digging up the dead. You can ask him five questions, right. at which point he will die again, mm -hmm. never to be re revived. It's important to phrase your five questions perfectly, right? Maybe I'm not saying it right. <laughs> <laughs> Were you killed in the Battle of the Everhorse? Yes. All right. Question, right? Yes. <gasps> no, no, no. That Did that he's tell us question? Him. Yes. No! <laughs> See, exactly. Fantastic. Oh question. my god. All of this. Oh, you can do it. Uh, I thought it was a one use only item. Tokarga, during the battle, did you see the helmet of destruction? Of my chief, Steinhardt Grimble. Oh my god, they gotta keep digging up everybody until they get their answer. Oh, Raycor. Okay. Oh. That's the last thing I remember. <laughs> Why aren't you gonna ask him the last two questions? Well, you can't just leave him like that. Look at the poor bloke. What's two plus two? I'm bad at math. <laughs> Stepped out my bar. My foot slipped on the stone. <laughs> he died from that? I died from the fall. I'm Sven Salafin. Sven's my brother. What are getting slowly getting there, piece by piece. I didn't care about myself. I just <laughs> needed to keep the helmet safe. This is awesome. It was a Thean who bore the mark of Zas Tam. He told me his name was Zenk Yenda. Zen. He had fled Zastam and now lived in exile. He promised to keep the helmet safe. <laughs> that Than lied and you died for nothing. He's a paladin. He helped the Enclave defeat the clerics of Talos. The Thans are murderers. <laughs> End of story. Oh, wow. He's holding a uh, grudge there. I've heard of him too. Well, you That's could all go find this Come lovely Zank and braid each other's hair. I'll find him. Come on, you stubborn guy. Come on, Ed. Drink Zia. No, hmm. you wouldn't. You'd be doing it to save her and Kira. What have we got to lose? Anyone know where stupid Zank is? <laughs> Last I heard he was working with the Harpers. Oh, the Harpers. There you go. There's your in. <laughs> was that supposed to be a tabaxi there? <laughs> oh, it ate the baby tabaxi. Okay. What a hero. Such a good guy. Making a name for himself. Traveling the land, doing good as a paladin. We're trying to find the Helmet of Dysfunction. Dysfunction. 
Fort Fitzwilliam. Ooh, here we go. The Red Wizard that he's partnered with. There you go. Red Wizard got his attention. Put the emotionless uh, palette in here. There you, you go. You have forsworn your oath, but your oath hasn't forsworn you. Really? If Fitzwilliam is truly allied with a Red Wizard, their intentions must go beyond the mere political. Great history lesson. <laughs> this is the part where a lot of players tune out, right? They don't pay attention. Like, get to the good part. Okay, but the history is important for the story, right? Come on. Damn, that's who was talking in the shadows. Unholy coup. What's he doing? He unleashed the beckoning death. A spell that would consume the souls of all who beheld it. Ooh. And created an army of the undead. Allowing him to conquer the entire nation. Sick. I like it. Because we already know that red wizards are bad. You give us that helmet, we take Forge down. No one stays lord without a fortune to back him up. And what will become of the wealth you burgle? I will not be complicit in the illicit use of ill-gotten booty. <laughs> Divided amongst the townspeople. Swear to it. And swear that you will indeed distribute all the wealth you take amongst the people of Neverwinter. Promise, Hulk? Give Forge's money to the people of Neverwinter. You may not yet believe your words, but I do. Powerful paladin. Very persuasive. Where's the helmet? In the bowels of the Underdark. Oh, jeez, the Underdark? Oh, there's going to some nasties down there for him. Things are not all malevolent. I saw firsthand the horrors of the spell. Oh, he was there. Parents turning on their own child. Run, boy, run! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they marked him. I escaped, but forever changed. In the tablet? You plan to resurrect your wife? Yeah. Yep. I would only ask that you consider that this plane we call life is but one of many. Drag your lady love back to her old life is to deprive her of her new one. Oh. That's one way to look at it. Never thought of it that way. What if she's happy in her afterlife? Can you imagine dying and going to like a heaven place and then being pulled back into your <laughs> living as a peasant again? The Underdark has many entrances. This is one of the less conspicuous. Something up his sleeve. The only thing up my sleeve is my arm. How can he hear that? He's one of those people with a passive perception of 20, right? No. Oh no. Rock none. The higher the intelligence of the prey, the more likely they are to strike. <laughs> <laughs> They're not very bright. Oh, that's a little hurtful. Yeah. The helmet lies on the far side of this chasm. There is a precise formula we must follow so as not to trigger the mechanism. Moving forward with each step, except for every fifth step, which must be a lateral move. Three. <laughs> I may have put my foot on the bridge. Well, now you gotta get across that. Look at I went to blanks not very there. Actually, sound. Can't you just magic us across? There you go. Where did you get that? I swiped it from a wizard over in the Great Peaks. It's not a walking stick. Oh, there we go. It's a hither thither staff. Convenient. Hither. Thither. Oh, go from hither to thither. <laughs> the universe in D and D finds a way to give you what you need, right, to complete the quest. Oh, here we go. Oh no, that's it. They got it. Trusting that you'll protect it with your very life. I will. Hold this. <laughs> there is evil here. Yeah, I was gonna say they're not going through the whole Underdark without fighting something. Oh, didn't expect that though. Expected some kind of monster or something. Fate assassins. Lead okay. them to me. You can take them all yourself. Come on. I want to see the whole party fight. Not just this badass paladin. Oh, that's pretty cool. You only have a dagger now though. Oh, and it clips back in. How freaking cool is that? Oh, that was that guy with the green magical blade. The green flame blade weapon. <laughs> the party's just standing back and watching it all go down. Okay. Oof. This paladin taking on an entire high level assassin party himself? No! Got him. Glad he's on our side. Yeah. It's no simple feat to kill that which is already dead. Right, they said he had an army of the dead. 
freak's sakes, they're just gonna keep coming back. That was a waste of time! Well, they don't look very dead. They could definitely blend into society looking like that. Oh, here comes the big bad. What is it? Yeah, buddy. We gotta have a dragon. If it's Dungeons and Dragons, you gotta have a dragon. A little chunky. It's a chunky dragon. <laughs> What's he been eating down here? He must have found a new den. Did he eat the last one? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. They got a big overweight dragon. I love the choices they're making. Instead of going with this badass dragon that's like, you know, smog or something. No, instead they're just like, why not just make him overweight? It'll be hilarious. Let's have a good time with this movie, right? Here we go. Oh. Yeah, he's still gonna move pretty quick. Oh, look at the size of the chains. <laughs> gonna roll and crush his victims. <laughs> Best dragon ever. It's a <laughs> oh, you're gonna slide right into his mouth? Oh, and a paladin coming to the rescue. One hit to kill a dragon. He must be a paladin rogue, right? Doing 100 damage in one hit. I was gonna say, I'm like, how did he kill a one-shot of dragon? He's stuck! Oh. So do we. It's salt water! No, the play fight bigger one! When I say so, everybody goes underwater, and that'll be your cue salmon, alright? A harper shaking off his slumber. Oh, he made him grin. He actually showed emotion. Oh, it's combustible. What's the logic there? The science behind it? It was just salt water, right? So explosive and flammable. Where I leave you. <laughs> Wish you every success on your journey. The paladin parting ways. There he goes. Walks in such a straight line. <laughs> He's so perfect. He's hard to a tune. So entire fate rests on you. Oh, here we go. Have some confidence now. Come on. What is happening here? There he is, the great Simon Omar. What makes you think you're worthy of it? It chooses who may wield it. Are they saying he's a fool and the helmet won't work with him? Unless he finds his confidence now, come on. I'll try a different approach. Great, new approach, try it. Oh no, it's projecting him. He failed. I never get my family back. Oh, oh no pressure. And only he can attune to it? It's a sorcerer only item. Oh, I'm gonna take a nap now. They're gonna take a long rest. <laughs> I've never seen a bigger coward. Oh, that's why. That's why it brings back that memory. Ah, ah, Whenever he's used a dragonfly. He's trying to kill it. She's just like, let it go. You just have to let it go. There you go. We've got a problem. I can't do it. This is exactly what I told you would happen back at the tavern, but you wouldn't listen. He said to keep it between us for morale. I... And you know why? Because you knew the whole time that he couldn't use it? No, come on I can't on believe now. I put my faith in any of you. Yeah, I'm going to. Disbanding the party. Can't be lying to everybody, Ed. Come on now. Aren't you sick of failing? No! We must That's... never stop failing because the minute we do, we failed. I'm the champion of failures. There you go. I lost everything that ever mattered to me and it was all my fault. Okay, he's taking responsibility for it. Quinn who really killed my wife? I did. Right. But I didn't know that red wizards marked their treasure. It led them right to our door. Look at that. He's the reason. Exactly why I can't quit. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go sit on this rock and make a plan. Come on now, look at that. Man, he's got a heavy burden. Because of his a little bit of greed, a little bit of sleight of hand there. He marked his family for death. Oh, she feels sad for him. What about you? Well, I'd said too, but there's no more room on the rock. <laughs> we put the portal on something and then sneak that thing into the vault. So we put the portal on some treasure. Okay. Good idea. We're traveling the high road, we could catch one of their convoys. Oh, God, I could kiss you. Right. <laughs> you think they'll ever get in a relationship? Ed and Olga? I don't know. They're just going to stay friends. Okay. How long does the portal last? What are they going to be like? Hey, a piece of your treasure fell off on the road. Here, yeah, put it back. <laughs> oh, no. They're just going to do that. What? That's pretty creative. 
<laughs> this is kind of stuff that players come up with in D&D as well. All kinds of creative uses for their spells. <laughs> what a thing to see. Oh, using her tail. Nice. Friggin' cool. Hammering it back in and everything. Perfect. I love it. That was so creative. No. Come on. After all of that. It's facing the floor. Why would they store it that way? You know, shape Earth spell or something? The games have started. So what's plan C? Plan C is we go back to plan A. Okay. You are at your strongest when you think you're at your weakest. You're gonna get into that vault, but because you must. Use this to keep in contact. Ooh, sending well, um, stone? This is a rock. A sending stone. Yes. But that will work for now. Oh, they got feedback? <laughs> like a walkie-talkie. There comes the bird. What's your business here? Celebrate lasses. Celebrate lasses. Oh no. Celebrate braid 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 It's the illusion spell. Major image or whatever. starting to get suspicious. That was funny. That was great. Now hold it. Okay. Find the vault. Sure you can help. Alright. Got barbarian rage on the go. Great place for a fight scene, right? In a blacksmith shop? I like it. Oh, horrible way to die. She's using the smithy hammer to like destroy everybody. <laughs> She's amazing. What she got now? A morning star? I don't mind that. <laughs> that looks badass. Alright, you can do that. I believe in you. Oh, what a necessity. Don't get it, we're going to die if I don't achieve. So you die a fool. I don't care. <gasps> Whoa. Sorry. What? Oh, he sees himself. It took you long enough. What? <laughs> Woo. Now he's going to get his courage and confidence, right? <laughs> There's nothing here. Is Ford trying to steal all the treasure? He is too. Look at him. Oh no. Oh, what kind of trap is this? It's all up to you, you, Ed. I came for you. We have to go. I am a bad father. Hmm. There you go. Get real with her. If, if you come with me now, you can have that chance. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. The transformation? <laughs> the shadowy tendrils? I'm really sorry about the way things have worked out. Yeah, I'm sure you are. But I can give Kira a better life? No, better to be with her father. Come on now. No. If you're gonna kill us, at least let us die with dignity. Put us in the High Sun Games. Oh, there we go. If you were to somehow survive the tournament, Safina's gonna... Let them fight in the arena. They deserve that much. Oh, really? Okay. Why do I get a feeling that they gathered everybody in the arena so she could do that spell again to turn everybody in the arena into undead so that she got her own army, right? Just like her master did, right? Especially there when he's like, oh, she's going to, you know, do this anyways. Do what? Kill everybody anyways. Forge wasn't hiding the loot from us. He was stealing it for himself. Yep. I don't understand. If Forge is leaving, what does Sophina get out of this? The entire population to turn into the undead? That's what she gets. Magic okay. suppression cuff. How do you guys survive the games with no magic? But I guess they'd have to do that so they just don't fly away. Ooh, I like it. Is it Displacer Beast? That's what they're calling it, right? Oh, <laughs> so amazing to see. Sword? Okay. Oh, look at the dwarf. All right, right. There you go. Turn around. <laughs> What an alpha predator. Oh, a mimic! Didn't they show this in the trailer? I think they did. I just totally forgot about it till now. No. Oh, I don't like his tongue chopped off. Convert everybody into the dead. Oh, would you let this cube? Oh, another minute, I would have lost my hand. Yeah, but look what you did lose. Come on. <laughs> 
Which one is the real one? Oh, there you go. <laughs> that was cool that she just came through and she knew it was an illusion for some reason. Oh, they got trapped. This is it. If we survive this, there'll be another challenge and another until every last person in that cage is dead. Ah, clever. They think they were the obvious winners, but nope. Jeez. Here's the gong. We jump in. You want to end up like that guy? Oh, yeah. We'll only be inside oh, for a few seconds. Of course you gotta have a skeleton inside of a gelatinous cube. Go inside, he's gonna pull us out. I will, trust me. Oh, so when it goes off, they'll be protected. They'll take some damage, but it'll protect them. Oh, no. no. What just happened? Oh, she's a snake. Oh, now she gotta pull them all out. <laughs> That's such a cool creature. Whew. What a wild maze. Well, they survived it for now. Our gear. Ah, you gotta get your gear back. Nice. Quite a second date, huh? <laughs> no, now he's gonna start flirting with her, getting his confidence. Something urgent has come up, but if we leave now, we'll be safe. Safe. What is this? This is an ambush. On the boat you were going to use to escape from Neverland. Hey, Forge, why don't you tell her what this is? It's the Tablet of Reawakening, Kira. Oh, quick. Get away from her before he grabs you as a hostage. We can be a family again. No. You're not see? taking my money. There you go. I knew it. I freaking Put down the knew tablet. it. And he knows I'm prepared to do terrible things to get what I want. Yeah, you are. What? Risk a move. Tidal wave. Nice. And they're getting away with all the treasure too, which they're gonna give back to the people. <laughs> I love you, Kira. And nothing will ever get in the way of that again. Oh, good to see, right? Somehow I don't think this is a happy ending with all that evil going on back in the city. What is that? There you go. It's the beckoning death. That's why she needed food. And the only people who can stop her are you all escaping with treasure? Will you be heroes or selfish? Shit. <laughs> yep. We're going back. Let's go. I love how the robe changed like that. Woo! Convert. There's your boat right there. <laughs> there goes all your treasure. Oh, in the balloon, just spreading the wealth of the city. I love it. Wow, making Forge out to be the good guy here, though. But you know what? The people are getting the riches they need. Oh, it's also luring everybody out of the arena. Clever. I didn't even think of that until I just seen it. <laughs> this isn't over until we take her out. Stay hidden. Pendant of Invisibility. She did mention earlier she had to sneak around the castle, right? So I like that idea. Here we go. I think she's gone. <laughs> I think she'll find you. All right. The big bad. The final boss encounter. Let's go. Shield? Okay. <laughs> nice. Come on, get up and rip her apart as an owl bear. All right. They showed this as well. Misty step. <laughs> oh, but it's made it a statue though. You can't even hurt it. Nice. No, she lost all her hit points in that form. Frig. That's a hard thing to fight. You can't even hurt it. It's got too much armor class. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Oh my god. What's that now? Oh. What the frig happened? Oh, she broke her concentration. Oh. Oh, I forget the name of that spell. Oh, that's like a nasty Big B's hand. He has his own Big B's hand! Showdown here. Who's the better sorcerer? She's 300 years old. Dude's only just learning to learn his magic. Simon, but I'm going for Simon, right? You got it. Come on, Simon. Oh. Nice. He's pretty good when he needs to save himself. Not the scope of my power. Yep. 
This is what I'm talking about. Here we go. Scream enough. No. So sorry. Not again. Not again. And just as I begin, you dare interpose. Too late, you already did. Oh, she looks sick. Ah. What? She nice. The dwarf could do this. All right. There you go. Tear her apart. Nope. <laughs> oh, <man>. oh <laughs> is that enough? No. Did we get her? No. Through the heart. Proud of what I did here. No, we're gonna have a character death. You're a good man. You're gonna take good care of our girl. She's the best thing you ever did. Your fortune found. Fate divine. What a way to go. Fame. No. No. <laughs> she was a cool no. character. I need you. Frig, no. I was hoping she'd be there for a sequel and everything. Look, she was like a mom to him. But you need some death to keep it traumatic. Oh, wait. He's got the friggin' stone that can resurrect. And he's got to choose between his wife or Holga. And he's going to friggin' pick Holga because she's happy where she is. And his friggin' daughter's mourning, right? Look, I got the goosebumps came over me the moment there. Getting emotional now. You got to pick her or your mom that you never knew. Can't blame her. She didn't know her mom. And she was like a mom to her. She's back! Don't tell me you wasted it on me. Oh. <laughs> why would you do that? Because you're loved and people love you, that's why. Beautiful, everybody. Defeats the Red Wizards. We had our character death, but one thing about D&D, you can always find a way to resurrect somebody, right? Oh, that's right. You don't like humans, do you? Some are okay. Oh, wow. I know my last attempt to court you was oh, here we quite go. bad. <laughs> You'd consider having another go at it. Yeah, all right. Yeah? <laughs> Right. Oh, calm down. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> well, they've been through a lot now. Come on, give it another shot. Dating your teammates, though, can get awkward. Oh, here we ah. go. Running away with his one piece of treasure. Good evening. Lord Neverember finally came to me. Oh. Oh. Who was that? Award the Saviors of Neverwinter, the Medal of Heroism. Nice. Yeah. Oh my god, she's biting her lips. She likes the little folk. Oh, you just It has been eye You're full of shit. A lot of it goes back to my mom. Oh, got mommy issues. Stop, we've heard enough. <laughs> Pardon denied. <laughs> John! <laughs> They're trying to say, oh! <laughs> oh that poor no, no, guy. No, 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 no. He tried to do the same trick twice. Hello? <laughs> Can somebody please ask me another question? All right, everybody, that was awesome. So if you want my entire review, final thoughts, and a star rating and that kind of thing, that's available on my Patreon page. The link will be in the description down below. Otherwise, if you want some awesome D&D-inspired merch, that's available at my Etsy store. Otherwise, watch one of these awesome videos before you go anywhere. Peace and love, everybody. See you later. Take care. Bye-bye.